can't let Destron's death be for nothing. With this book, I think I can help us defeat Vondacia and once again separate the realms. I can't explain how being an ambition works. I don't really know myself. But I can sense things that are like me, that have the same taint of Dagon upon them. This book practically reeks of it. I think this is the Mysterium Xerxes. Zyna's contracts mentioned it. The rites it describes allowed Vondacia to imbue us with a portion of Dagon's energy. I think he took a little for himself along the way, which is why he's so powerful. I want to try to take- I'm not sure we left Blackwood. The two realms are merging around this fort. We could be on Nern, or in the Deadlands, or maybe someplace in between. If I can weaken Vondacia and you can destroy him, that might break the connection and set us free. I can't believe it. He killed my brother. He killed Destron. Listen. Sacrifice me. Let Sombrin take my energy. Then you can kill Vondacia and save the fort. But... But... My brother! And my parents! Vondacia has to pay for that! You were supposed to protect us. You were supposed to save Destron! Then let me help! Sombrin has been holding me back. I don't care if I lose control, so long as I take Vandacia with me. Find him. Keep him busy. I'll make sure he pays for Destron. I can't believe we lost Destron. I should have been there. Maybe together we could have saved him. Yes, I'd probably do the same if someone threatened my brother. Have you seen the sky outside? One ambition gave Vandacia enough energy to merge the entire fort with the Deadlands. What could he do with another ambition or two? Right. Should it concern us that he can read the book and it was all gibberish to me? Maybe the whole reason I found it and carried it all this time was so I could give it to Sombra now. Maybe he's meant to use it to stop Dagon. I hope that's true.
Bites or Flea Bites? Should be just through that door. I'll cover you from the battlements. The power of the Lord of Fire and Flood flows through me. You cannot stop what is happening. Get ready, Kalia. Just like I showed you. You're going to pay Vandacia. Mercenary, help us drain his power. Merging the realms is delicate work. One mistake and both could be destroyed. The Master's Tomb! Give me that boy! I'm with you, my friend. We'll defeat Van Dacia together. Dacia when you give the word. You wanted our power? Here! You can't avoid your fate's ambitions! More the area around that port and slide into the Deadlands, the greater Dagon's influence will be. My brigadines are here to help! My archers are ready! Give us a target! We're about to lose! Lead the enemy to our target! We're ready! Tell Kalia when to strike! We're not going to die for Meirun's Dagon! I grow tired of this game! You cannot stand against Merum's Dagon's power! Before he can 
quickly to the merging. That is unfortunate. Though this realm slips from my grasp, your fate is inevitable. You will join me or die, ambitions. It is why you were created. We did it. We stopped Von Dacia from merging the realms and opening the way for Mayrune's Dagon. But my brother, Destron is still dead. I failed Destron, but I won't fail you. All right. Without Van Dacia or his master, the cult doesn't stand a chance. <sighs> At least the sky looks normal again. I... I need to get out of this place. This way, Kalia. Come with me. I can't believe it! We defeated Vandacia, saved Sombrin and Kalia, and sent Dagon running with his tail between his legs. Does he have a tail? Anyway, we won! Destron would be proud of his sister. She fought bravely through the entire battle. Yeah, I guess Varro Lupus was right. We did need that strange book. In fact, I think I was meant to give it to Sombrin. I couldn't read a word of it. But he cast spells from it like it belonged to him. Tangled roots. Sombrin did good. And I don't want to take it back. Those dreams and visions would have driven me crazy eventually. I think Sombrin's a good steward for the book. He can keep it safe so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Now I can add facing down a Daedric Prince to my already impressive list of accomplishments. Food connoisseur, master assassin, consummate Vosa saddle player, and now this. I suppose I should thank you for getting me mixed up in this. Nope. Vandacia made this personal, but I try not to make a habit of killing people for free. It's bad for business. You do what you have to. Me? I'm going to find a nice mammoth stick with a side of vegetables smothered in scuttled cheese sauce. Hey, I never claimed to be a hero. And despite our success today, I don't want to face Daedric threats on a regular basis. Then again, who knows what tomorrow will bring. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you'll turn up on a contract eventually. Whatever you need, I'm here for you. I'm still alive. I can't believe I survived all that, but Destron didn't. It's not fair. None of this is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Easy to say. Hard to do. Still. So many people fought to protect me today. Even though my heart is broken, for their sakes, I'll find a way. Destron would want me to. I hope so. Not just for my sake, but for the other ambition, whoever they are. 
Without Destron, they and Sombran are the only family I have left. I'll try to be there for them. I really will. For now, we're heading back to the temple if you need us. I've been alone my entire life. First in my vault, and then in my wanderings. I finally found a real family, and I let one of them get taken from me. I promise you, I won't allow that to happen again. For now, but I don't think it's over. There's another ambition to find, and I can't imagine Mehrun's Dagon and his followers leaving us alone after all the time and planning that went into creating us. I think we'll head back to the temple for now. I, uh, I'm not sure. It belongs to Evely, not me. I'd like to study it, see if there's some way to free the ambitions and change our destiny. But I know it's also dangerous. Let me think about it a little more, then I'll talk with Evely. Daedra spin great lies from small truth when it suits them. I know that now. It was Zaina's last lesson to me. We won't join him and I won't let him kill us. We just need to come up with a way to keep any of that from happening. Yes. I wonder who he is, or she. Are they still trapped inside a vault? Or did they find a way to escape like I did? I hate to think of them alone and unprotected. But maybe it's better if they remain hidden. Right. I almost forgot about that. I need to figure out how to keep Kalia from being consumed by her ever-increasing power. And them, too, once we find them. I suppose I have a lot to consider, and not a lot of time to do it. The people of Blackwood owe you their gratitude, mercenary. You and Evely both. If not for your courage, Von Dacia and his waking flame cult would have unleashed unthinkable destruction. The losses would have been devastating. It could have been worse. We did well against the cultists. They were not trained soldiers. And when Mehrun's Dagon appeared, we faded into the mud and grass. Dagon did more damage to his own minions than he inflicted on our forces. When a fire rages, my neighbor's hut is my own. That is Argonian wisdom. We defend ourselves by defending our friends. Those who died today died well. We do not mourn them. We will celebrate their sacrifice and cherish our victory back in Gideon. Given what they faced, Blackwood's defenders did a remarkable job of not getting stomped into paste. Good on them. Now, I need to think about dinner. I'm famished. That battle was not what I expected. Things were getting out of hand for a time, what with Mehrun's Dagon stomping around, knocking down towers and crushing anything in his path. I'm glad that it's over. And I'm glad that you fought by our side. Governor Keshu made the right call bringing the ambitions here. Can you imagine what would have happened to Gideon if Mehrun's Dagon appeared over the Egg and Hammer? We didn't just save Sombran and Kalia. We saved Gideon. Maybe all of Blackwood. That seems to be the long and short of it. I'm sorry we couldn't stop Vandacia from murdering Destron. But at least we took care of that rotten tree stump in the end. Despite all that, I feel pretty good. It's not every day I get to save Tamriel. That would be
be too much to hope for. I'm sure some of them slipped away. It will take a while for them to find a leader as powerful as Vandacia, but I expect them to show up again at some point. Not by myself, I didn't. You helped. What started as an historic mystery turned into a tale of murder, living Daedric weapons, and the end of the world. How do we follow that? Oh, I know. With flagons of rot meth and lots of roast paws on a stick. What now? Can't we just rest for a while and bask in the glory? I know, there's another ambition out there. And we need to keep Sombrin and Kalia safe. But still! Oh, Kesho asked me to give this to you. A reward for defending Blackwood. I have a feeling you hate this sort of thing. But we need to head back to Gideon. Governor Keshu insists on throwing us a victory celebration. I wonder if there will be cake. I could really, really go for a big, gooey piece of cake. Oh, the best kind. I hear Governor Keshu really knows how to throw a party. Food and drink, music and dancing. And she wants everyone to be there. Sure. The gardens behind the governor's mansion are big enough to entertain an entire army. Hey, before you join us, can you check on Sombrin and Kalia? Invite them to the party? They went back to the Temple of Debella in Gideon. I'll meet you in Gideon after you collect Sombrin and Kalia from the temple. I think we've earned a little relaxation and a slice or two of cake after everything we've accomplished here. Absolutely. I think I'm really cut out for it. You get to travel, meet interesting people, see ancient places. And you get to solve all sorts of riddles and mysteries. And sometimes people throw you a celebration party too. A party with cake! I'm from Grotwood. Have you met my people? It's all roasted this and roasted that, and even raw this and raw that too. You don't get to enjoy many pastries under green pack rules, you know. Knowing that you helped people, and seeing how much they appreciate it more than makes up for the dark times. You walk into town and people say, Hey, it's Everly! Soon the little kids around here will all have pigtails in their hair. Count on it! What do you want? Our guests, they're long gone. I know you. You brought those guests to our temple. Kalia and Sombrin and poor Destron. Everyone in town is talking about your deeds in Blackwood. You helped stop that traitorous Vendacia and his cult. Thank you for that. I did say that, didn't I? I suppose that even the charms of the Lady of Love can be too much for some folk. Not everyone can stand to bask in Debella's glory for too long at a time. But they were good people. I liked them all. I heard them talking about a ruin north of Gideon. I know that particular place well. Let me mark its location on your map. When you can spare a moment, come back and enjoy one of our ceremonies. All should open their hearts to the secrets of love. I just came by to... Hey, where are Kali and Sombrin? I came by to find out what was keeping you in the ambitions. Where are they? What happened to Kalia and Sombrin? A ruin? I wonder why they went there. Haven't those two had enough adventures after all they've been through? 
We should go find the ambitions or they'll miss the party. Did the priest say which ruin in particular? Lead on then. The party's going to start soon and we don't want to be late. I, for one, want to get a nice piece of cake. Or maybe a slice of pie? Oh, broken branches, I'll just have both. How much longer, Sombran? This place makes me feel uneasy. Not long now. I'm almost... Uh, oh, it seems we have company. I told Sombran we should have talked to you before coming out here, but he was so insistent. He wanted to try something with the book, away from other people, just in case. Sombran thinks my only chance is if we return to the Deadlands. The nature of the realm naturally draws off my power, making it easier to control. Sombran doesn't think so. He says that's the last place they'd look for us. I'm still attuned to the realm from the trial in the Ashen Forest. Sombran believes he'll have enough time to teach me if I'm not in danger of imminently exploding. Worse? I suppose that depends on your perspective. It has been growing in intensity again, back at the same level as when we first left the vault. Sombran is worried I don't have much time. That's why he's being so insistent. I'm actually glad you found us. I didn't want to leave without an explanation. But I'm afraid that Kali doesn't have a lot of time. Kali's power is recharging faster than I anticipated. It will soon reach the point where I won't be able to help her. Then she'll either release it and destroy everything around her, or it will consume her. Either way, people die, including Kalia. Use the Mysterium Zarxis to open a portal to the Deadlands? It's the only place I can think of where Kalia will be safe. The realm naturally siphons off a portion of our power. That will give me time to teach Kalia to control it on her own. It's a big place. Zaina taught me how to avoid notice there. And it's the last place Dagon's followers will think to look for us. As soon as Kalia can control her power, we'll come back. I promise. Thank you, my friend. For everything. I'll return the book when we Good come back. Oh, Kalia. I hope Sombran's right and he can help her. But taking refuge in the Deadlands? That's like the sausage leaping out of the pan because it thinks the fire will be safer. As for me, I never want to visit the Deadlands again. Hey, it wasn't my book. I was just keeping it safe for... Well, as crazy as it sounds, I think I was meant to give it to Sombrin. He certainly did more with it than I ever could. And I'm not about to miss the bad dreams and the waking visions. We go to the party! It's taking place in the gardens behind the Governor's mansion. To think, this all started because I was curious about a coded journal I found in Emperor Leovic's old retreat. We figured out the secret, and now we celebrate. I'll see you at the party. Last one there doesn't get any cake. Sounds delicious, Assassin. You must leave me a copy of the recipe.
I had no plans to leave my cavern where the magic of the eternal flow, but I had to see this little celebration for myself. It seems I made a wise decision. The drinks here taste more refined than Otumi Ra's bug water. Perhaps I may learn the recipe. In a party with this many people, I find it quite simple to sneak extra drink unnoticed. A little misdirection and someone's food vanishes from their plate. Just a little game I play with myself. It is time to feast and make merry! Where is the cake? Where is the drink? Point me to the games of strength. None of these dry-skinned Bikos shall leave this party unchallenged. This party is exactly how I like them. Keshu the Blackfin really knows how to throw a celebration. Reminds me of the feasts that Otumi Ra throws. We might be up until the morning frogs sing. <laughs> well, after you left, we discussed moving on, but the winds convinced us to stay. We fought for our home. Leaving would hollow out our victory. So, the rebuilding has begun. Feel welcome to visit should the marsh breeze ever blow you in our direction. Oh, a party was just what I needed to calm my nerves after what happened at the Zonmir. It's sort of refreshing to attend a function where I'm not the primary servant doting on the crowd. No, unless you count these tiny balls of goo that keep following me around. Lady Laurent says she catches glimpses of other me's in the crowd, but I think that's just her nerves. She can be quite tense and irritable if she skips her afternoon tea. It's good to see you, friend. I wanted to make sure you knew how thankful I am for rescuing Stibbins from all that slime. Good help. Well, mediocre help is so hard to replace. Oh, and I heard you saved Blackwood. Congratulations on that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there'll be another adventure. And Stibbins goes where I go. I can't seem to get rid of him no matter how hard I try. <laughs> no, no, I jest. I wouldn't think of leaving him behind. Who else would carry all my packages? He's very good at that. Everyone's been talking about the things you've done for Blackwood. I had no idea you'd been so busy. I find myself edified, enlightened, and exhilarated by the tale of your heroics. Balavon himself could not have done better. Yes, I have. The relics we recovered from Undertow Cavern turned out to be exactly the sort of proof I needed to convince other scholars that someone important had been entombed there. I am voracious, victorious, and vindicated! Ah! Greetings! I heard you're to blame for all this reckless frivolity. <laughs> no great surprise there, eh? Well done! I'll try not to knock anything over or set anything on fire. No promises, though. Yes, as a matter of fact. Tyrus's letter was very well received in Tel Naga. The Magisters want to see the Phantasmal Sensor at work. Can you believe that? Yes. Well, no. Sort of. I'm giving the Sensor to Tyrus. All the pomp, plotting and vanity among the Magisters. It's just not for me. I only made the Sensor to keep them off my back. This way, Tyrus gets what he wants, and I get some peace. Indeed. I've got all sorts of ideas for a new book of Overmancy. Eggs with smaller eggs inside. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Don't... Just don't answer that. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. It's good to see you again. The news is favorable. 
My letter to the Magisters convinced them that the Phantasmal Sensor is a worthy enterprise. I'm to carry on Revis's work. I believe my teacher is in good standing. For now. The wise mage is the mage who can learn from their mistakes. I may not have underestimated Revis's skill, but I definitely underestimated his tenacity and faithfulness. I learned a great deal, and that is worth all the trauma. It seems like you've been rather busy. I heard you would be here today, so I thought I'd stop by. I finally paid off my debt to Last Tull thanks to you. I'm free. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Home, I think. It turns out there were some wealthy people in Leowin willing to pay to keep their relatives' involvement with the Cult of the Unmaker from coming to light. I made out like a bandit. Now I can pay off my family's debts, too. So this is what it's like to be part of an audience. It's much more cheerful than watching silently from the shadows. I especially like the clapping and cheering. Oh, wonderful! All the players have welcomed me among the troop as if I've always been a part of it. Some even invented some backstories for me that are way more interesting than anything I came up with. Yes, yes, yes! I've gotten to try out so many things since I became alchemy student. Uh, like sticking a sword under my arm for a death scene and not stabbing myself in the chest. I'm not allowed to try sword swallowing yet, though. Thank you for giving me a chance. I get to be anyone I want now, but most importantly, I get to be me. Uh, and don't worry, I am now totally aware that break a leg is merely a figurative expression. The House of Reveries couldn't pass up attending such a lustrous affair, even if we aren't the main attraction. I always knew you were lead material. Bravo! Dreamer is a marvel to behold. Fantastic and dreadful at the same time. A true idiot savant. They almost killed themselves practicing pratfalls. Once informed that there is more technique than throwing themselves on their face, they learned quickly. More than with most hopefuls, certainly. But there's nothing more rewarding than nurturing a burgeoning talent. Mark my words, Dream will be a star. I might find myself next in line for Grand Maestro when all is said and done. I think we both know that luck has little to do with it. May your talents lead you to your dreams as well. What a great party! I must ask a favor, though. Please don't let my sister drink too much. She has no tolerance and gets tipsy rather easily. <laughs> what am I saying? She gets drunk and it's rather amusing. Maybe it's better if you just let her indulge. Heroic friend, I am very glad to see you alive and well. It is a shame I could not fight in the fierce battle with you, and lend you my incredible strength. But a great warrior such as yourself proved victorious anyway. Tentative. Like a newly formed river emerging from two springs. But it flows. The water is muddy, but will soon run fresh and clear, I am sure. Nahish Nurwal and Lieutenant Beria have been working hard to ensure that our peace lasts. Thanks to you. It is good to see you again. And to learn that your heroism did not end with my friends and I. I must thank you again for what you did for us. Destroying the idol of Zulonat continues to have a lasting impact. They are well. Thank you for asking. 
It will take time for all of us to recover from the horrible things we witnessed, but you gave us that chance. We will never forget that. This is the life, eh? A pleasure to see you again. Many Brigadines, myself included, have been quite impressed with the stories we've heard of your exploits. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, given what you did for us at Hutanzel? It's good to see you, mercenary. Enjoy yourself at the party. You've certainly earned it. Ooh, fancy party. Look at you making friends in all the high and low places. I bet a few of these folk have a plump pouch in their drawers. What? No! Well, maybe just the little snacks coming by on the trays, but that's what you do at parties, right? Six and I just wanted to check in on you. He says maintaining good contacts is important in the business. Plus, you know, free food. Six was afraid we'd get fleeced on the payment, but the old guy was totally fine with it being busted. He was relieved, even. Said it's one less dangerous object in the world. Turns out he's got a vault full of cursed stuff. Weird thing to collect. We'll be getting back to the guild with our dues. I'm sure after this job I'll be a fully-fledged thief. Oops. Full-fledged thief. Then Lady Twilight will make her debut for real. We should do another caper soon. Uh, try not to draw any unnecessary attention, would you? We already stick out like a sore thumb with Aerithal gaping over the scenery. Trying to blend in. Badly. Just wanted to say farewell before we skip town. Figure we owe you that much after you salvage that job for us. Surprisingly, yes. We got that hunk of junk to our buyer, and they were thrilled to take it off our hands, even in its busted condition. I expected a high elf collector to be more... fussy. Things worked out for everybody but the painted eye. Back to give the guild its cut, and report on Aerithel's progress. Or lack thereof. She did manage to show some improvement this time, but she's not ready to leave the nest. Plus, I don't hate anyone at the guild enough to inflict her on them. You sow the seeds of prosperity wherever you tread, laborer. Xenathar smiles upon your work, as do we all. Blessed as can be, the resolutions have regarded Gavos rightly, as living testament to the sanctity of pious labor. <laughs> of course, he's seen no rest since he left the Abbey. My fellow clerics seek his knowledge night and day. Resting where we left it, awaiting the faithful to come and clear away the rot consuming the Abbey. The Knights of Iron will soon launch a crusade against the vile beasts and goblins inhabiting the place. Fortunes shine upon you, blessed laborer, I will pray daily for your success. Hello again. Thanks for helping me with such a difficult decision. But I think it's for the best, right? There are so many wonderful stories yet to spin. Look around us. I'm sure there must be some steamy goings on to discover. Oh, I'll be all right, eventually. Tragic love stories are the thing of legends, aren't they? I'll be sure to compose a gripping story about him. It will be a tale for the ages. I wanted you to know how appreciative I am of what you've done for us. Not only did you reveal Vandasia for the traitor he was, you took him down and saved Blackwood. Countess Cairo and the Chamber of Legates, thank you. You're always welcome here. Plans? The same as they were before this trouble started. Work with Gideon to secure our borders and keep the war from impacting Blackwood directly. Make sure our communities stay safe and prosper. 
If not for you, none of that would even be possible. You're not wearing that dashing outfit I sold you? If today's celebration is not the perfect occasion to dress up, I don't know what is. Perhaps you should visit my shop again to freshen up your wardrobe, hmm? Why? Shouldn't a leading Leowin business person attend a celebration for all of Blackwood? Besides, after I let word slip that you and Everly had patronized my shop, business has been booming. Everyone just has to know which outfit you selected. Sounds delicious, assassin. You must leave me a copy of the recipe. Featherless! What a wonderful celebration these wingless giants have thrown in our honor! We must fill the sky with our cries of victory! Shriek our accomplishments for all to hear! Shriek! Shriek! Why so surprised? Where else would I be? It is impolite to not show up when the common folk hold a celebration in your honor. Is that not true among the Featherless as well? Blackwood? I was certain they said Black Feather. Well, a party's a party. You helped us in our time of need, so we will help you celebrate your victory too. It is the least we can do. The absolute least. I suppose things worked out in the end, but let me offer a word of caution. Dragging the Brotherhood into this was risky. What you do in your spare time is your business. But assassins don't like the spotlight. We prefer- You mean after helping you clean up this massive debacle? Oh, the usual, I guess. Try some more of the local cuisine. Collect my next contract. Complete my next contract. What can I say? I'm a creature of habit. Welcome to the celebration, mercenary. There are many here who wish to thank you and share a drink or two. But where are Sombrin and Kalia? I expected you to bring them with you. Choosing exile to spare others from danger is a noble decision. I wish them well, even as I worry about Sombrin and Kalia out there on their own. Everyone else has gathered. Eat, drink, talk to your friends. In time, I shall address the crowd. Anyone you like, they have all come to show you their appreciation. And do not leave too swiftly. I intend to boast of your accomplishments soon. I see Evely has arrived. Perhaps you should begin with her. So this is what it's like being the hero everyone looks up to? Most of the stories I've read end with a hero riding off into the sunset before anyone can properly thank them. But I feel like we ought to stay for just a little while, don't you? I don't know about that, but I certainly feel more experienced. And I have you to thank. Well, you and Captain Rian and Governor Keshu and poor Farrell Lupus. Can you believe this all started because I couldn't leave Emperor Leovic's secret alone? That's right, I almost forgot. And we should be ready to help Sombrin and Kalia when they return. I don't believe that Mayroon's Dagon and his followers are just going to leave them alone. I really thought the ambitions were actual weapons, though. Here, your share of the last of our compensation from Leowin. And a little something from me. I learned so much at your side. If you ever need any help, just send word and I'll come running. Oh look, I think Governor Keshu's ready to speak. 
Welcome, people of Blackwood and honored friends. We have weathered a terrible storm, so now we celebrate. Many had a hand in this victory, including those who gave their lives for our cause. But I want to honor the two heroes beside me. Without them, all would have been lost. So stand tall and raise your cups to the sky. Remember those who fell and praise the deeds of those who lived. To victory! We defeated the traitor Vandasia's plot and saved Blackwood, and we couldn't have accomplished any of that without the help of you and Evely. Hold your head high, friend. This day is yours. We must continue to remain vigilant. As long as the war rages to the north, there is always a danger it will spill into our territory. Beyond that, I plan to continue the work I started, there is still so much to be done. The work to build a place where Saxleal and Dryskins can learn from each other in peace. Where all people can prosper while maintaining their own cultures. And I want to continue to study the ancient Argonians, to learn what they can teach us. Leowen has stood with Gideon more times than I can count, we will continue to work together to keep Blackwood secure. Captain Rianne and I were even discussing joint patrols. Imagine, brigadines and legionnaires walking side by side. It's inspiring. What an adventure this has been, right? I'm really building up a collection of stories. I think I'll stick around the area for a while. Visit with my brother, catch up with my cousins before they return to Valenwood. Maybe help round up any remaining cultists still hiding in the wilderness. After that, who knows? I do hate leaving a story half finished. One time I lost a book I was reading and it drove me crazy. But yes, at some point, we should find the fourth ambition, and make sure none of them wind up sacrificed to Mehrun's Dagon.